If you're working in a big design and you want to get rid of this page, I'm going to show you how to do that in this video. The page is a hardwired piece inside of Inkscape, but you can remove the colors on it so it doesn't show. I'm going to show you that right now. We go into File and then Document Properties, and we're going to get three little sliders that we can take a look at here. The first one is this page button right here. That is this rectangle that we see inside of Inkscape. So that's the first one. The second one is the border, and the border is right on the outskirts of the rectangle. So I'm going to move that right there. The third one is the desk, and that is the color of the background, the overall background. So you can change the color of your entire Inkscape experience based on the desk color. Typically, you don't want to have your entire desk being colored, so you're going to move this to the little tip of the triangle so that the background is basically clear. You've changed the lightness now to 100. So I'm going to get rid of that desk color. We're done for now. The next thing I want to do is get rid of the border. And the border, you've got a couple options. One is you can simply just uncheck it. And I'd recommend that you do that. You'll see the border just disappears. But if you wanted to leave it on for whatever reason, you could change the border so that it's the same color. You just move the lightness to 100. Now this may work, it may not work. It depends on the color of your background. So what I would also recommend you do is this right here, this alpha channel, you take this slider all the way down to zero. This truly removes the border and the shadow colors and basically renders it gone. So that leaves us now with the actual page. What you can do to make this disappear is click the little eyedropper tool and then just select the background. That will just simply match the color and it will remove it. Now you can still see there's a page there. It still exists. So if you need to get it back at a later date, I'm going to zoom out for example. Let's say you totally forgot where the page is. Simply go here to File, Document Properties. Here's the page. I'm going to select the little page icon. I'm going to change it to be red again. And we can see there's the little tiny page. I've zoomed out so much he's kind of disappeared. I can zoom back in and now I can go back to working on my page if I so choose. Another thing you can do is click the page button and then you can simply move this to be as light as possible. That will also make this disappear. By the way, if you don't like the little checkerboards, go to File, Document, Properties and you can see here there's a checkerboard option. When I uncheck that, it really just changes now my background to be a straight white. If you like that, great. If not, personal preference, you can always turn it back on, Document, Properties and then checkerboard. And now you can make big designs without worrying about the page being in the way and being confusing. Hope you found that helpful. I love using Inkscape. It's totally free. Download it today. Here's another video on how you can have some fun using Inkscape.